What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at the young town, or some young town, all of it, on foot manager, and we see how they get on the course of their careers. And these are all players that you guys in the comments section have given me to look at. So, first of all, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new as well, check out the FIFA series, the other FM series as well on the channel, and all feedback is always welcome. Specifically around retention of audience is what I'm looking at at the moment this year, trying to increase that this year. So essentially what that means is people watch the video then drop off after a certain amount of time. So any feedback on that as to why that happens for you if you, if you do that is always welcome and going forward. So um, if you want to get your player featured on, on these videos, first of all, follow the following criteria and rules. First of all, check the playlist, make sure he's not been done already. Check the document down below in the description on all these videos, which is updated every evening or when I've got a specific update to put on there, around 10-ish, 9-ish, it's updated, to see what's coming up, and leave as much info on the players. You can not just the name or the surname, leave the name, nationality, club, and position. Those are the key things I need to know, because some players have the same surnames, and if you just put surname down, it can be quite hard to find it out. And the more info, it narrows it down, it's easier for me to find that player. Also, let's let you know, guys, these videos are going to be every other day. They're going to be on, um, basically, you've got videos you video today, so tomorrow there won't be one, and the next day there'll be, you know, so say today was Monday. Tuesday, no video. Wednesday, you get a video. Thursday, no video, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Unless you want three videos a day on my channel. If you want that, and you want FIFA Daily, This Daily, and FM Let's Play Daily, let me know in the comment section. If not, I'll stick to the schedule going forward. So, today's player is Matthias Azio, a striker from Uruguay who... Already looks like a pretty decent player. Um, obviously, the heading stands out in him there for 16 and finishing 17 um, as well. Finishing 14, first is 14. Pretty damn good, isn't it? Um, trying first time shots. He has got a reasonable left foot and a very strong right foot. You look at his trans contract situation here. There is no release clause. He signed his contract in 2018, so you can sign this guy um, in the first season. So let's go quickly look at the scout report on him and see how he looks. So I've done the scout report again with Manchester United. It's just the continuation of what I like to do. Also, welcome on the video by ways, guys. Guys, uh, just I feel like consistency on this channel is what I want to go for. And having video, having webcam on all of them makes sense for me personally. As personal preference. Plus the fact about this lighting now, I don't have to. Previously, I didn't want to do webcam on because of the whole um, yellow yeah, light deal. But now it's light is a lot better. So. Just my phone's buzzing there. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, we've done a scout report on him. Um, looking at uh, the transfer of this, have a look what he says. So, um, it does say he's not paid enough games for his country to qualify for a work permit, but should be granted on on appeal, should be granted one. So, bear that in mind. You can get him for £1.4 million. Pounds. Now, this will be just actually straight away. I based that, I based that off on the um, scout report I got here, which is estimated cost of 875k to 1.6. So I still think it's good. I think it's a bargain deal. Scout report, they've got him at two star current ability, four and a half star potential. Consistent, good in the air, fair amount of, fair amount of pace. Um, again, these things down here, they're all things that can be improved with time. Nothing there is really standing out as a worry. And obviously, he wants, he wants to join, which is also nice for if you're a club that in the Premier League, Upper Leagues, that's good to see. So, uh, yeah, first jump. Let's go. All right, folks. He's now 20 years old and he is at Tottenham Hotspur with £42.5 million. And you can see here the heading and determination, still the highest stats on him. Clinically good, loving the acceleration. The pace, not too bad either. Finishing 15. Um... Technique good as well, so you can probably place place shots. Maybe increase like maybe maybe increase that composure a little bit. Comes did to get the ball as a new trait on him. So injury records, have a look here. Pretty damn good if I'm honest with you. Nothing they're really worrying me. Then look at the stats. So he went to Pumas. Um which I'm not sure what league they met, met together ago. Didn't go and see for looking. Um got 17 goals and two assists. Then got four that year. Moved to Tottenham. For and played seven games, got six six goals. So that's actually a good, very good return. Eleven point five million pounds. So he's not overly expensive, um, and that is good to see. I like a cheap striker who can bang them in. And I think what you get, what, 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 what the words fail me. 
what you've got here already is a player who I think has got the pace, which is handy, um, but also got the heading ability in the air. Now, obviously, I try and find the height of the player, but I can never seem to find it on these screens. Um, it fails me to find it. Is it on information? Uh, I don't know. I can never find this sort of thing. Um, you'd think about it here, wouldn't you? You'd think. Um, but maybe we've got a, I've got a new option to get it on. Just have a look at his height. I'll try and work it out for next episode on a review. Um, maybe if I'm from here, I can't see it. But yeah, I like him. He looks like an all-round striker. He's got the pace that enough to make it work, workable. Again, he might get more as he gets older. Heading ability is good. Finishing is good. Technique's good. Um, the termination is nice to see. Off the ball, very good and work quite good as well. There's nothing here that stands out as a weakness for him. Um, maybe the composure. If I'm being nitpicky. Um, but yeah. So, let's go to the next room and see if he can establish himself in the Premier League and bang those goals in. Alright. He's now still at Tottenham Hotspur. And look at the stats uh, on his finishing, heading, termination, technique. Uh, and the finishing's got up massively. We've stopped, we've got one new trait on him, which is run ball down the right hand side, which is interesting. Might indicate that be, might indicate that he's been played out of position, maybe. Um, maybe. Don't know for certain, based on the fact he can't play right wing. Um it seems a bit weird it's like it's on there. So I can reveal right now this is the first run through, because I think the stats are good enough to show how good he is. Obviously, goal return is subjective on each well, not subjective, it is different on each save. Each save's different. You guys will be different than him different than AI. Don't want to sign him. Interesting. They must have sold, sold Haaland. Um, so, injuries. Yeah. Liking it. Nothing there to worry about at all, in my opinion. So, Tottenham, he got his first season, got six goals. Then he got 12 and 11. Then six. Eight, eight and 15 starts, really. Then six. So, you look at his start. Look at his, right, apart from that one there. You know what? I think if you get, I think we can extrapolate from this. If he was to play thirty games a season from the start as your main striker, this guy is fully capable of getting twenty goals a season total. No question about it. Um, I think if you look at Tottenham, have they, have they still got, have they still got who they got up front? They've still got Harry Kane. So back to that into it. Harry Kane is there still. So that is why he's not getting the goals. This is what I'm talking about my reviews. His reviews. We don't just look at the stats. We look in and see why this is happening. He's not getting starts from because they've got this beast of a striker up front. Though that might change now he's 33. So that is a factor in this. So if you put him... If you take half the games that Kane starts and give it to him, then you see... I'm sure you'll see him surging goals. I have no question on that. So... Speaking of which, let's see if Kane moves on or retires, and let's see if he take if Matis can take over that role. All right, so now he's 28 years old, and you can see right at the bottom of the screen if you're a keen observer that we've seen the and goals. And I think this is my theory coming true. Um, so look at the tactics here on these traits: uh, knock past opponents, tries first time shot, and no new ones are there. Knock ball past opponent and tries uh, passes. So interesting. What, what interesting? I just want to just check something again. What happened then? Someone just moved in on the screen, didn't it? Ah, oh, he's loading that up, fair enough. Um, just wonder what that was. Um, yeah, I like him. I really do. Um, the only thing I'd nitpicky on, if I was being really fan really fussy, is that I like 15 pace minimum. But I don't think it's an issue. Um, it's just my personal preference. And I'd still not be a... I, I've had strikers with Cavani not got much pace and just bang, bang goals and so Not an issue. Uh, just my personal um, preference of what I like in my teams. Um, injuries, again, not too bad at all. Right, so we got 8 and 3 there. Six, there we go. So, 13 and 2. 7 and 2. Okay, didn't play much that year. There we go. 34 appearances, 18. What did I say? Give him 30 appearances, he'll get 20 goals. I was right. And first of all, I, say, I know I, I do pre record, I do pre simulate these. I didn't see that until just now. So, I want to. Claim that as a victory. Um, and then this season, obviously, we saw that 42 appearances, 25 goals. Like I said, play him, he scores. The issue we had at Spurs was the fact that Harry Kane was starting. So if you are looking for a striker like Harry Kane or Haaland, a, a, kind of like a physical striker, which looks like this guy might be physical hitting ability at least, this guy is great. 
And I like him a lot. And I think he's so cheap. He's a bargain to sign. So, next jump. Final jump. Let's see if that goal return continues. All right. So, um, as you can see, a bit of a drop-off now um, as he gets to 32. Understandable. Injury record, again, one big injury there for two months. Uh, not massive, given the overall picture. It's not that bad. I want to see his goal return. I want to see his goal return. So, we got uh, where we get to here. 25 that season, an 8, 14, 12. So, a bit of fluctuation there. But then again, I do feel like in the right system, he will get that kind of goals consistently. He is going to do things when he starts lots of games. I would say, play him earlier on, play to his strengths, and you've got a good striker. He's cheap, he's not overly expensive, he's got the technical ability in the air and finishing. I like him a lot. I think he's a bargain buy for you guys. The issue could be a work permit at the start of the game, depending on your work permit rules in the league you're in. But it looks like it's not an issue. It's not an issue. You could always get him on on a cheap deal, loan him out to a star player in a team and get him playing football regular and then bring him back in when he gets... You know, you know what I mean? So there's always that option, I suppose, as well. So I liked him a lot. I think he's fantastic. So thank you for watching, mate. Mate, guys. And everybody, hope you enjoyed the episode. Next episode, uh, I'm going to check who see who, see who it is. Um, do apologize for the brightness in my face. Um, just want to check who we got on next on the on the list. Um, it's Giovanni Reina is the next um, guy who we're doing, and that's already been simulated. So I'll see you there for tomorrow um, for the new upload. Unless you guys demand a free series, um, free videos a day. Um, but that could be difficult for me to do long term. Uh, but this allows me to do take my time with the reviews, get them done properly, not rush them, and we can go in more in depth. I think, like I said, one of the things about this series that, series that I like is it's not just looking at the stats on the screen, we look in depth. So we looked at why he wasn't getting many goals, given that the stats would indicate he should be, given that the stats indicated he should be scoring more. And we worked out that Harry Kane was still there and getting more games. Second, Harry Kane moved on. You saw the goals increase. That's why I like. That's why I love this series because we just try and find reasons why. So, thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget if you're enjoying the series, hit the like button down below. Subscribe as well for daily FM content and FIFA content on this channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.